Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Kayla and I'm so happy that you're here. I'm still having this weird camera problem here that I don't know where to put the camera so that I can sit comfortably, have a cute background, and have nice light. I have a whole constellation of problems because honestly I want to put the camera here but then I can't sit down then I have to like balance on my knees and it doesn't really matter but it trips me up when I'm trying to talk and think and exist oh god I know I can go here let me do that so did I think I'd be back here so soon not really but I'm really glad to be here. And to be honest, it's you guys who encouraged me. So I want to say thanks to everyone who watched my last daily vlog. And thanks to the people who left really nice comments. Like, it meant so much to me. And it made me want to continue. I really, really, really appreciated everyone who left comments. It means the world to me. Really. Um, so I thought, yeah. Fuck it. Let's come back for another day. Another day of daily vlogs. <laughs> I'm kind of whispering right now because it's a little bit early in the morning and voices carry in this apartment building and so that's like kind of shitty but you have to just be one with the fact that like if you say it loud your neighbors will also hear what you're saying. <laughs> it's whatever. I thought about coming in front of the camera this morning without makeup on and I was about to sit down about to start recording and I was like you know what girl you don't have to do that you know. You could take the time. You could get ready and then come back and it would be fine. And so I did. I'm here. The bangs are still a huge problem. I had to re-straighten them even though the rest of this is just the hair that I slept on. I cannot wait for my bangs to become like curtain bangs so that they can like flip back and be out of my face. But right now they're accidentally too short and so they have to just stay in the middle. Today is Monday and it's kind of exciting because the first thing that's happening this morning is two of my friends are coming over and I'm doing a business portrait for them. Um, I guess it's really common here that when you send a job application you always send a picture with it. It's called a Bewerbungsbilder, just like an application picture. And a lot of my friends seem to be changing jobs right now. So we've been doing a ton of just quickie portraits for our friends. So today, two of my girlfriends are going to come over and we're going to do the portraits together. That's going to be fun and cute. I don't know if I'm going to vlog that, but definitely I'll talk to you before and after. Um, so that's the first thing that's like on my mental list right now. Other than that, um, Monday mornings, it's really important to me that I meditate. I have this like brain organization little system for meditating and then doing like five minutes of reflecting and goal setting. And I do that every weekday, basically. Um, so right now I have to get dressed, take the dogs on a walk, meditate, and then get to my office for the girls all within the next like hour, 40 minutes or so. So that's it. Good morning. Welcome to another daily vlog. I am so happy that you're here. Let's get dressed. I want to wear something cute today. I have no idea what to put on, but do you guys know what I just realized? I am so excited. Today is Monday, new episode of Jacqueline's Journey. I have been living for Jacqueline's Journey. Do you guys watch that? It is the best, what if we just do a black t-shirt? Jacqueline's Journey is like the best content in the world to me because it's just Jacqueline not losing weight. I'm kidding. That's, is that a bad way to put it? It's like Jacqueline wants to lose weight, but she just loves food so much. She just loves food so much. And like, I love how much she loves food. I personally do not think that Jacqueline should lose weight. I think Jacqueline should stay the same, be exactly how she is. But she's been making these episodes, I guess tonight might be like episode six or something of her like weight loss journey. But I'm telling you the whole time is just like, like a 30 40 minute vlog where she eats really good food and then complains about not losing weight perfect content i just i i mean that completely unironically and not meanly i really fucking like jacqueline i really like her content i really like her openness for struggling and like i am genuinely so excited because i know that tonight when i come back home and it's time for me to sit on the couch and eat my dinner i am going to watch a fucking jacqueline's journey and be so happy 
Mondays. Right, babe? Yeah. I forced my boyfriend to watch Jacqueline's Journey with me too. <laughs> I legit love Jacqueline and I feel so bad that she feels bad, but like, I don't know, you know like how when you watch a horror movie sometimes and you want to like scream at your TV, I want to be like, Jacqueline, you can eat sushi and still be healthy. It's okay. Just don't order that. But she always gets like the giant like crunchy rolls with like tempura and like mayo and like sauce and stuff and it's like, okay, you know, I don't know. Uh, okay, what about this? Is this a look? Is this too blade for like a Monday? Yes, we're gonna go with sweater instead of a blazer. No, we're gonna do a button up over this. I'm gonna do a denim tuxedo today. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to pull out my winter coats. I have like a long winter coat of a couple and I'm just telling you it's not much longer until I have to wear them. Uh. I have to move my ass. I have to hurry. Seriously. Okay, this is the look. This is cute, simple, together, and casual. Uh, and for the walk, I'm gonna wear Ugg boots. And maybe for the day, I'll wear sneakers. Actually, I'm gonna wear the gray sneakers. I'm gonna put on socks and my gray sneakies. It's a good thing I did laundry yesterday because I am like down to my last socks. Okay, this is about to be cute. <laughs> is this cute, babe? Mm -hmm. Cute lady? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, yeah. but you just can't get into it. Very cute. Let's go. to show my outfit somewhere. I'm not obsessed with this coat anymore. This coat is great for fall, but the second you put a layer under it, it's too thick. I don't know, it doesn't make me look small. I guess today's the last day of me wearing this coat and I'm gonna go switch to my other real winter ones instead of my fall ones. I'm listening to a book right now. First of all, do you have a library card? I love libraries, and it turns out that you can, hi baby, come. If you have a library card, you can listen to free audiobooks all the time. You can just rent them from your library, just like you would rent a normal book. The app is called Libby, and you need a library card to use it, but it's literally awesome, and you can listen to audiobooks for free. So, when I go on the morning walks, every single day, I try to use the time productively for my brain. So I try to listen to something that's not just entertainment. Before I was always listening to podcasts. I have a AirPod in and I always give Felix the other AirPod and then he listens or he doesn't. I don't really know. <laughs> and right now the book that we're doing is The Power of a Positive No by William Erie. I don't know if I've already talked about it on the vlog before, but the whole book is about saying no and not destroying things. I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but it is really hard for me to say no. I am <laughs> complicated in that I have a backbone, like I'm not a person without a backbone, but I'm still a people pleaser and so I will do everything to make someone else happy and I'm really impacted when someone is displeased with me and so saying no is really hard. So this book has been very, very, very interesting and very good for framing how to negotiate with people and how to say no to people and get to a place where you're both happy. So I would recommend it. You too? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to concentrate on it, but I like it. Like, he can definitely speak English, but when it comes to listening to audiobooks, uh if I do two things at the same time, it gets really hard and the words get lost <laughs> in my head. 
Like I'm listening to it, but it's not staying. Oh. Like I don't understand it. Like it doesn't reach the next, <laughs> what, what, what do you call it, level. Yeah, but I think our next step also, I've been meaning to do this forever, is go get a German library card so that I can listen to these books in German. That would help me a lot more, but then I'm the same way and then I can't yeah. get then every can't single word. It. Then I need two hands on the wheel. Yeah, that, that kind of multitasking is really hard. Yeah. The girls just left and I'm feeling overwhelmed. We did our pictures. I already actually finished the post-production and I sent it to them. I think they're both happy. I hope they like them. I don't like to do small photo shoots, if you know what I mean. And I feel like we should have the home field advantage when we're working in our own studio. It should be like the absolute best conditions possible. You know, your best picture should come out of your own studio, but it's small here, so I actually prefer shooting on location always. And I prefer when people have like a lot of time for creativity and they don't um, take anything personally. Like sometimes a picture just doesn't work and it doesn't have to do with how the person looks at all. It's the light, it's the wall, it's the relation of the the colors coming together it can be anything and so when someone has like a ton of time to really work together and collaborate on a picture that's when it like always comes out the very best or when you just feel it like when it's like a moment and you're like that's the picture i see it so am i obsessed with the pictures i did today no are they good for their job applications i hope i hope they're good but now I'm feeling overwhelmed just because you now I have to start the week and I'm thinking about like I have so much to do but you know how you sometimes don't know where to start. I have to kind of piece everything together. So first we have to unbuild the light setup here, rebuild the office, and then I guess there's a number of different ways that the day could go. I generally don't really lean into doing office work, paperwork, organizational work, but it has to get done. So I might do that today. But actually I was thinking while I'm here and the office is completely taken apart, probably the best thing to do would be really quickly deep clean everything. Vacuum the floors, vacuum the rugs, and then put all the stuff back together. So I think that's where I'm gonna start. I think a clean space always makes me feel less overwhelmed. Okay. Everything's nice and neat, but it's really hard to show it all from one angle. sitting here and I'm thinking and I'm trying to figure out what to do to make myself feel better. Like I need to do something. I need to be productive. I need to finish something so that I feel better and less overwhelmed. But I cleaned up. It now looks beautiful in here. We took the dogs on a walk and now I'm back. Felix is grocery shopping and I'm thinking, I still don't know what to do to feel better. I know that when I'm overwhelmed, sometimes the best thing to do is like make a list or do a brain dump. So you just sit and you really write down every single thing that you need to do. But I feel like I have so many lists and I don't want another piece of paper floating around here. But maybe that would make me feel better 
so I don't know. I guess maybe finishing this vlog will make me feel like I'm productive and I can move on to the next step. So I guess I should end it here and say goodbye and then I will see you guys again tomorrow. I'm still so grateful for all of the nice comments that you guys left me. It was really cute. It made me feel really happy. And I worry if this vlog today is good enough because it's not really a big sexy day and I still have a lot of stuff to do that doesn't really lend itself to being vlogged. I'm asking myself, what would Casey do? How would Casey work out this problem? Would he go do something exciting? Would he say something really insightful? Would he tell a story? I don't know. It's my belief that being productive builds self-esteem. So the more that you feel that you can rely on yourself, the more your self-confidence grows. I guess I should sit down and make that list. <laughs> but that's where I'm gonna leave you today. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next one. Okay? Please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. And I would love to see you again really soon in the next one. Bye.